Um, Sheikh, my request, uh, question is a request, is uh, please give us uh, some solid advice or tips uh, for raising daughters. For raising? Daughters. Where? Uh, in general, or especially in Western countries. Okay. The general advice is that we have to hold on to our beliefs, to our religion, to our sharia, and raise our children properly in the way of the Prophet والسلام, and not according to our whims and desires and not to our own priorities. And this is a general advice, which means that I would fail miserably if I only focus on teaching my children how to memorize the Quran without any other means of tarbiyah, without showing them how to learn Arabic, how to understand the Quran, the tafsir of the Quran that they've memorized by heart, how to implement the sunnah, how to deal according to the moral conduct of Islamic etiquettes and ethical uh, uh, system, to teach them the biography of the Prophet and his companions, to remind them of Allah and the sentimental things found in the Quran and the Sunnah, such as the world of the unseen, heaven and hell, the torment of the grave, the favors and blessings of Allah upon people. This is a package deal. Failing to take this as a package deal has tremendous consequences. And this is what we see, not only in the West, even in Muslim countries. When I only focus that my children memorize the Quran, and how much, and what's the quantity, failing to address the other topics and issues that the Prophet ﷺ brought us, we fail miserably. And this is why in so many Muslim Arab countries, you have this divide and the jal did not come yet. The moment someone calls for fitna, for following your desires, for lustful things, public sins, the moment you see the spark, immediately afterwards, fire would spread all over the place. And you're shocked. How is it possible? I've raised my children to memorize the Quran. Yes, but you failed to walk the talk. You managed to make them memorize the Quran, but you have Netflix in your home. And you watch movies and listen to music. You backbite in front of them. Your wife maybe goes without hijab or maybe goes with hijab to a local mixed gym. Hello, what's cooking? There is something wrong. That's why we, unfortunately, at the moment, we're suffering from Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde syndrome. People have two personalities and you don't know which one is prevailing. This is a general advice, Salihin. Now, when we come to the West, I raise the white flag because you guys shouldn't be there. I know you went there for a better life. Maybe you were born there. Maybe your parents migrated there, but this is not how it should be. Muslims cannot raise their children upon Islam in the West. Maybe one in a 10,000 would succeed. The rest are like, maybe we're Muslims, 
But like they say, I'm a family man. If you push me too far, I just might. There's so much fitna in the West that even us old folks fear upon our hearts. So definitely you are in the wrong place for bringing up children, especially girls. You have to migrate to a Muslim country. In the West, any child could dial 911 and they'll confiscate your child and give him to a Christian family. Why? You abused him. You spanked him. He's my child. I have the right to reprimand him, to fix whatever is wrong with him. Yes, yes, but this is against human rights. You are preventing him from getting out of the closet. Akhi, I'm not putting my child in the closet. No, he wants to be transgender. He wants to be a female. And you insist that he's a boy. This is his gender. He's got the equipment. He said, no, 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 he has the right to change that. He doesn't have the right as a five-year-old to choose what to eat. And you want him to have the right to change his sex. So you are definitely in hell though it seems to you that it is paradise and that I'm living the American dream or the Canadian dream. You are living a nightmare, Achie. And only when the visitor of the angel of death comes that we will wake up. So I know this is difficult for you. You may find it difficult to relocate, but this is your only life raft when your ship is sinking. And believe me, it is sinking there. Not only for the Muslims, for all. With immodesty prevailing, with, when they have no religious compass, when they don't have any modesty or ethics governing them, they're going down the drain. It's just a matter of time. So my advice is run. And may Allah protect all of us uh, um, in this life and the hereafter.